On an episode of Frenemies, Trisha spoke about getting a smaller channel shut down because they reported on an accusation that Moses spoke to minors. Trisha was outraged by this because she said the channel itself made the accusation up, and therefore she was going to get the entire channel taken down for stating this. So, Another one okay, saying but, Moses dated minors. Not true. Like, you can't fucking just make shit up. So you can, you can... However, it wasn't the channel who made up that accusation and spread it. It was Trisha herself. Well, he just said that... Well, first of all, you were accusing him of, like, fucking, like, flirting with minors. Do you no, take that back? No, no, that's... Oh, my God. Okay, can I just explain everything? No, let's Hold not, on, let's you not, stop. Let not. me explain what happened. Oh, my God. Because the people deserve to know. It. Oh, my God. First, you guys were dating, and then you started sending me all these crazy DMs with screenshot being like, your brother-in-law's fucking crazy, and he's sick, and he's fucking minors, and I was no, like, I all right. I and I was I like, I'll pull out my that. phone and read the DMs. I did not say minors. I can pull out my you phone and read the DMs. You said underage. No, I can't. You want me to get my phone? Inappropriate age. Very young girls that are like 22. That's what I said. Yeah, pull it out because I even showed him. Inappropriate age for him. He's like, tw like That's like not 22. what you were saying. You were saying under 18. I didn't say under 18. There's no way I said that. There is no way. Hang on. Anyways, do we really have to like go? This is so embarrassing. Nice. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's not. This is so triggering. Ready? I never said underage. I know I didn't. Okay, ready? Okay. Here we go. Dude, I know we don't talk, but Moses is disgusting. I have no intention of making anything about this, but maybe check him talking to your fans. Fans? This, yeah, I'm getting there. Okay. This is from a fat piece of shit fan of yours who is 23 and he fucked on <gasps> Valentine's Day. Don't say he is disgusting. Yeah, 23? I said 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. First of all, don't read this because... You... You better call this for real. That is the psycho. Just don't. Well, fuck her then. No. I don't know. But you got baited. And then so, but my point is, but is she's that. she's an actual psycho. Okay, fine. Who cares? Fuck house. her. Well, That's you have a guard. Security. Yeah, okay, but, but anyway, you were yeah. sending me these DMs and I was like, wow, this shit's crazy. And then I actually started hitting up Moses because I was like, dude, why? I don't want, I can't have you flirting with my fans because you were kind I of. I was like, a fan. Yeah, I was a fan. <laughs> you said there's audio screen recordings. Check the bio. Yeah. And then you're like, check out this exposed channel with 10 followers. I was like, oh, that's you. That's mm -hmm. literally you. <laughs> oh, you think I'm the exposed channel? Yeah. Why would I want to like embarrass myself? No, you were just, it was all about trying to expose Why would Moses. I want to expose him? Because I was like really, truly like in love with him. Why would I try to like kick him? Like, you said he talked so much trash about me and made fun of my body and then used me. He's scary and vile and needs help. Yikes. I was really mad then, but that's the different. I didn't answer because I was like, Moses, what is going on? But and then you, you say, responded a month later. You were like trying to start sick because that was because I May. because you yeah because I didn't want to. This was insane. The but shit then you thought we were fine because we had fathers yeah. and everything, and you're like, well, I because I'm like I have to address the issue that Trisha just. Well, let me finish this. Can we not? Like, you said just so stop. you know, none of this was a troll. I truly thought he liked me, but he played me. He always was bitter. He was never on your. Oh, <gasps> yeah, I won't read this. I won't read that. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my god. Like, Stop all together, please. This was already a point of contention. We're past it. Just stop. Hang on. I literally oh, don't he talked here. He, you said he talks to underage girls. No, right there. He talks to underage girls. Weird. Where I, don't, I literally don't see right it. there. He talks to underage girls. Confirmed that it says that, that was yes, but but this is a different uh, situation. Say, I, talking about no, it's not. Yeah, it's no, the same set of messages about his work. Stop! It's <laughs> the same set of messages. Five seven ten thirty. Five seven ten thirty. I'm telling you, this is Tom. To this girl, is, you said read this part. He said it says he talks to underage girls. It's a separate. It's a period. It's in there. not. It's okay. look. It's five seven ten thirty p.m. <laughs> 5, 7, 10, 30 p.m. Say, can I just say he doesn't talk to anybody now? Not even about his work, not men, not the, women, So nothing. I'm just trying to explain the situation. Oh, my God. Well, you I sa saved him from further embarrassment. You says he stalks to underage girls. I don't expect a response. And again, I've, uh, I don't want to talk to you again, but he's just a fraud and he's scared. And not only did she say it first, but she acted as if it was okay afterward by claiming that she saved Moses from embarrassing himself further by doing it again, by preventing him from doing so. If she really cared about protecting minors like she now claims, and was truly disgusted by adults who targeted them, how is it that she can be attracted to a man who once went after them? How is it that she could so easily forgive a man who was involved with them? She acted so disgusted by Jason Nash's threesome joke about Tana Manjo, who was 19 years old at the time when Jason was in his 40s. Yet she seems to be fine with the fact that Moses, in his 40s, actively sought out relationships with minors.